Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I'm not as new at this point, okay? Still a little new, still don't know what I'm doing, but today we are, <laughs> we are reading more fan fiction. So I don't know about you guys, but I tend to uh, like hyper fixate on like a new person. So like Colby and Sam, I love them and they will always have a special place in my heart, but I'm definitely not in the era of like hyper fixating on them and just absolutely being in love with them. However, <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love Tana Mojo. I love Tana Mojo. I love Brooke Schofield. I love Amari. I think I love Ashley Schwan. I think I think that whole debacle is over. But you know who else I really love from that little group? <laughs> Jeff Wittick. Don't ask me why. I don't know what it is. I genuinely don't even know how it happened. I think it was when stuff started coming out again about the vlog squad and just everything that went down. My heart just hurts so much for Jeff. What he went through was just awful and for it to be so public and just with the shit people you could ever imagine. Like I just know there's no way I genuinely don't think, this is my opinion, I don't think David Dobrik has any remorse whatsoever for what he did to Jeff. Um, And I stan Jeff, and I don't like David Dobrik. I've always been team Liza anyways. But when all of that started to come up, I think just like the savior complex in me, I was like, I can, I can treat him right. And now I'm in love with Jeff Wittick. So did I look up to see if there's fan fiction? Yes. Specifically, I think I looked up imagines because I wanted them to be shorter. So we're going to read some today. And I know I am nowhere big enough for any of these creators to like ever see, but I do want to give a disclaimer. This is all fiction. I did not write this. I am just reading what is on Wattpad to have a good time. I am in no way trying to be creepy. Do not go to these people's um, social media profiles uh, and be weird. Not that anybody has, but you never know. The internet's a weird place right now. Also, by me reading these stories, this is not me making fun of the author whatsoever. These authors are amazing writers, um, and the fact that they can put their work online is absolutely amazing. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this does say that there is going to be a little bit of smut. Um, I have not read through these. I do like doing like a genuine first reaction. So in the event that there is smut, I will either not read it, so you won't be seeing this video, um, or it's going to be age restricted. So we'll see. So uh, turns out I was wrong. I actually started reading the original story that I found and it was uh, a little too spicy. So we're going to try a different story because turns out I spelled his last name wrong. That's how much I love him. I spelled his last name wrong. Okay, I found one. These ones are imagines, and it specifically says, no smut, bless you. Anyways, we are reading Jeff Wittick Imagines by 13 R. Wiley. It will be in the description. And this one is called New Friend. We are keeping the same name. You don't even know that I chose a name. I chose the name Jenna for the last story, so we're gonna stick with that. I sighed when I realized that my video was nowhere near done. I've been staring at my laptop screen for hours and I was sure I was going insane. If this isn't me, every time I edit, I literally don't know what is. In the midst of editing, I heard the door to David's house open. Oh, David again, come on. We can meet Jeff outside of David Dobrik. And I decided I had enough editing. I closed my laptop, standing up from the couch and walking towards the kitchen. I didn't know you were here already, David said once he saw me. I rolled my eyes. I've been here for the past three hours, dumbass. He do be a dumbass. I realized that he didn't come by himself, but with the infamous Jeff Wittick, this person also spelled Wittick like I did. I've seen him in a couple of David's vlogs, stories, and the stories of people from our friend group, but I've never met him in person. You must be Jenna. I'm Jeff. Jeff spoke, taking steps towards me. I gulped and waved at him awkwardly. I cannot function near attractive guys. Yeah, that's Jenna, and she gets really dumb around attractive guys. David said, immediately catching my attention. 
I glared at him, pulling up a middle finger. He laughed, and I went around him to grab a bottle of water. Oh, but what about you're not introducing your... Why are we not introducing ourselves to Jeff? After a couple of seconds, David left to his room, telling Jeff that he needed to grab the spare battery out of his camera. Can I have a bottle of water? I jumped slightly when Jeff suddenly appeared next to me. I wish Jeff would suddenly appear next to me. I grabbed a bottle of water, handing it over to him. I also pulled out a tub of ice cream for myself. So, you're Jenna, Jeff said while I grabbed a spoon out of the cupboard. I looked at him and nodded. And you're Jeff. I would 100% say the same thing. He smirked. So, you think I'm attractive? He says, his accent thick. Oh, I do love his little accent. I choked on my ice cream, coughing violently while trying to breathe. I heard him laugh, walking towards me and offering me his water bottle. I took it and finished it in a matter of seconds. I hate you already, I said, throwing the emptied water bottle. Yeah, I think that's going to change real soon. You know, maybe that's what I was missing last time. I had fun reading some Sam and Colby, but like, you know, you got to try some different flavors and here we are. It's fun. And this next one is called Punches. I was dancing to the beat of the music, my head spinning from all of the alcohol I've swallowed in the past three hours. I wasn't able to spot my friends who I came here with, all of us slowly splitting up once we were on the dance floor. In the middle of me dancing, I felt someone's hands on my waist and I immediately stopped dancing. Within seconds, the guy got closer to my body and I could almost feel his hunt on my back. That's precious. I was immediately sobered up, the feeling of his body giving me shivers. I turned backwards trying to face him. Hey, the blonde guy said his hand. Oh, I love where this is. I think I love where this is going already. I'm a sucker for this kind of story. <clears throat> hey, the blonde guy said, his hands making his way to my waist for the second time. What's your name? He attempted to shout over the music. I sighed, annoyed at the guy. I don't want to dance with you. I told him nicely. I tried pulling myself away, but he only pulled me to him harder. He suddenly leaned in and I was panicking inside my head. Yep. Yep. This is the kind of story I'm a sucker for. Before I knew what was happening, he was out of my sight within seconds. I gasped when I saw Jeff on the floor, the blonde dude underneath him. I froze for a second before my brain actually started working. I started yelling at Jeff to stop because I knew that that dude had no chance against... <gasps> my boyfriend. Within seconds, Todd appeared next to me. Who's Todd? And he ran over to where Jeff was, trying to pull him off the guy. It did not work. I decided to run over to where they all were, squatting down next to the guy who was laying on the floor, nearly unconscious. It didn't stop Jeff from beating him up, though. I put my hand on Jeff's shoulder, gripping it tight. Jeff, you have to stop, I told him. The moment I said that, he sighed and started standing up, and I did too. There was a crowd around us watching Jeff as he started panting, his knuckles bloody. Jeff grabbed my hand and pulled me through the crowd, making our way towards the exit of the club. The moment we were out in the parking lot, he leaned towards the wall, bending over, still breathing hard. We should wash your hands before it gets infected. Why is that everybody's first thought? My first thought is never, oh my God, this is going to get infected. My first thought is, oh my God, blood is going to get on everything and I'm never going to get it out. Does that mean I'm not a good person? He looked at me, standing up straight while taking steps toward me. He looked at me, standing up straight while taking steps towards me. If anyone... I'm going to risk it for this one. If anyone fucking touches you again, I'll kill them. I stayed still, his words causing my stomach to go crazy. It's crazy how his words still have the same effect on me after seven months. Before I could answer him, our friend group approached us. Todd giving us a bottle of water to wash Jeff's wounds. It wasn't going to clean it, but it was better than nothing. We all piled into our cars, the others heading towards Scott's new house. Me and Jeff decided to call it a night, heading towards his apartment. Once we arrived, I went straight to the bathroom looking for things to clean his wound. Once I gathered the ointment, I met Jeff in the kitchen. He was playing with Nerf. Who's Nerf? Who are all of these people? His knuckles still bloody. If Nerf and Todd are somebody that are like really prevalent... Uh, in the vlog squad times, it just shows what a fake fan I am. I love Jeff post vlog squad. That's the Jeff I know. That's the Jeff I love. That is the Jeff that I stan. So anything before Tana, like this whole Tana thing, I have no idea and I'm really sorry. Let's clean your wound. 
I told him, waving the ointment I brought. He nodded and sat on one of the kitchen chairs as I began to put the ointment on his bloodied knuckles. It doesn't look that deep, I muttered. The moment I was done with his wounds, his arm went around my waist, pulling me towards him. I love you, he said, his arm still wrapped around my waist. I pulled away slightly, looking at his face. I lifted my hand to his face, squeezing his cheeks together. I laughed when I saw his expression, looking as if he was eight years old. I love you too, loser. He grinned, kissing my forehead. You should teach me how to punch people so that I can beat people up myself, I told him. I felt him squeeze my waist. Deal. <laughs> that one was so cute. Ah, oh, there is just something about a damsel in distress and the hero comes in. Classic. This one is the last one that we'll read for this video. This one is called Science Experiments. Actually, no. We're not going to go in order. Okay, we're going to read this one instead. It's called Public. I was sitting on the couch watching Jeff film a barbershop episode with Zane as his guest. I was trying my best to hold in my laughter from all of the jokes my boyfriend and best friend had been making. I sighed in relief when the video was coming to an end with the finishing of Zane's haircut. And for the final reveal, Jeff said dramatically, he faced his table looking for the small mirror. Now where the frick... <laughs> is my mirror. I'm really trying not to cuss in these videos because I hate editing out cuss words because I say them so fast. Zane started complaining, rambling on and on to the camera. I spot the mirror on the edge of his couch, buried in the midst of Jeff's stuff. I waved the mirror at Jeff, telling him I found it. He gestured for me to bring it over. I walked in frame and gave him the mirror. Before I walked away, he grabbed the back of my neck, pushing me gently towards him, kissing my forehead. And that's on excessive PDA, <laughs> Zane said, making me laugh as I stepped away from Jeff. And adding more work for Jeff's editor because he has to cut out all of that, I responded, causing Zane to bust out laughing. I caught Jeff grinning and went back to my spot on the couch. A couple minutes after they finished filming the video, Zane went to go take Instagram stories with his new haircut. Jeff tidied his setup and I helped him with some of it. After I was all done, Zane decided he wanted to make a TikTok with Jeff's barbershop in it while me and Jeff watched him. I started laughing when Zane nearly fell over while throwing it back when Jeff put his arm around my shoulder, pulling me to it. What if we leave that part in? He said, making me stop laughing. I looked at him in confusion. What part? The part where you came in the video, he answered quickly. I pulled myself away from him, looking at him in disbelief. Uh, you're joking, right? He shook his head. You want us to go public? I asked him. He shrugged. Why not? I was about to answer when he continued talking. We've been dating for three months. That's it? No. I want to be hidden for like at least a year. Take notes, Jeff. We've been dating for three months, and I don't know about you, but it's exhausting to hide the fact that we're together. My mind started thinking about what would happen if we did go public. I started thinking about what everyone would think, and by everyone, I mean people who watch the videos. Can I think about it? I asked him, needing time to think. He looked disappointed, but nodded anyways. After about 10 minutes that was filled with Zane's cooling down and him whining about how tired he was, we went to our cars to meet the rest of the squad at a nearby restaurant. Zane rode in the front with Jeff while I sat in the back. Jeff has been quiet ever since our conversation, so the car ride was filled with Zane telling stories. The whole time we were having dinner, I could only think about what Jeff said, contemplating on whether I should accept his offer or if I'm not ready for it yet. I looked at Mariah and Heath, who were sitting next to each other, Heath's arm on her shoulder. Next to Heath was Todd, who also had his arm around Natalie. I must admit that a lot of times, oh, so let, oh, I was, I was mistaken. I understand how Jeff feels. I get it. I must admit that a lot of times I wish me and Jeff could act that way in public. I mean, nobody knows what's going on between Todd and Natalie, but they can still act like they're a couple in public. I looked at Jeff, who was sitting a couple seats away from where I was. He was scrolling through his phone, oblivious to the conversation around him. After a couple of seconds or minutes, I don't even know, of creepily staring at Jeff, same, I decided he was worth it. He was worth the extra attention I was going to get if we went public, and he's worth the hate comments that might be thrown my way. After dinner was over, we all piled into different cars, deciding to call it a night. I went to Jeff's car with him practically ignoring me the whole time. The moment he sat on the driver's seat, I faced him. Let's do it. His jaw clenched. There's something about a clenched jaw. Still looking out the front window. Do what? I put my hand on his face, forcing him to look at me. Let's go public. 
Are you sure about that? He asked. Are you? I took a deep breath before speaking. I'm 100% sure I want the world to know that you're with me, but if you're not comfortable with that, then I have to respect you and not go public. I leaned over and gave him a kiss right on the lips, which caught him by surprise. And I'm 100% certain that I want the world to know that you're with me. I said, watching him break into a grin. Ugh, so I'm not gonna cut that part out, he said, and I nodded. He finally started the engine of his car, putting one of my hands in his. No matter what happens, you know I love you, right? He said, kissing the back of my hand. I nodded, smiling. Ditto. He rolled his eyes at my response. I'm just joking. I love you too, I said, earning a smile from him. Okay, this one was good. All right, I think that's it. I think I have figured out the game plan. So I think we'll just switch it up every once in a while. Unfortunately, I'm so sorry. I love you, Sam and Colby fans. Um, But I think we're going to try to do like different people because this was so much more fun. So leave me a comment down below. Tell me who you guys would want to hear fan fictions about, whether it's whole stories or if you guys um, want to do imagines. And that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it so I know to keep making these videos. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with all of the fun fan fiction and whatever else I'm doing here. The author and the stories will be linked in the description box below as well as all of my social media and I will see you guys in the next one.